I'm attorney Mark Bernstein at the Sam Bernstein Law Firm. I want to talk about Executive Order 2020-21. This is the executive order that Governor Whitmer signed earlier today on Monday, March 23rd. Uh, it's titled Temporary Requirement to Suspend Activities that Are Not Necessary to Sustain or Protect Life. It's an extraordinary document, necessary uh, in this circumstance. It will affect profoundly uh, our lives at home with our families and of course our jobs. Um, the governor has authority to do this, clear authority to do this under three sources of Michigan law. Of course, the Michigan Constitution of 1963, the Emergency Management Act, and then the Emergency Powers of the Governor Act of 1945. When does this order take effect? It takes effect at 12.01 on March 24th of 2020 and continues through April 13th, 2020. So it takes effect at midnight tonight. Um, the governor has uh, stated that the order, and I'm quoting, must be construed broadly to prohibit in-person work that is not necessary to sustain or protect life. Um, individuals, and this is the second point in the executive order, all individuals currently living within the state of Michigan are ordered to stay at home or at their place of residence, subject to the same ex exceptions, all public and private gatherings of any number, of any number of people occurring among persons not part of a single household are prohibited. Uh, the governor urges uh, Michiganders to adhere to social distancing measures that we've all heard about uh, over the last several days and weeks. The governor also, and this is critically important, um, identifies individuals that are referred to in the executive order as, quote, critical infrastructure workers. And these individuals are described in sections eight and nine of the executive order. Um, exec these individuals are individuals who are necessary to conduct minimum, oh, I'm sorry, these are individuals who are engaged in work that is uh, necessary to sustain or protect life. Um, for purposes of the order, the governor identified certain government activities, including, as you would expect, workers in law enforcement, public safety, first responders, medical personnel, uh, to be included in the type of work that needs to continue during this, during this emergency. Other activities that are included as uh, a, a, what I would just consider to be essential are public transit, trash pickup and disposal activities, individuals who are overseeing elections, individuals who are involved in the safe and sanitary uh, maintenance of public parks um, are all considered to be essential workers. Um, it also permits uh, individuals, uh, it, it, the long list of exceptions uh, that are spelled out in section seven, titled exceptions, where it states, I'm just reading from this, individuals may leave their home or residence and travel as necessary. And there are, uh, uh, there's a list of activities. There are actually 11 uh, activities that are considered to be exclusions. One is outdoor activity, what I would consider to be recreational activity, walking, hiking, running, cycling. Um, the second is to perform jobs if they are involved, uh, they are des designated or identified as critical infrastructure workers. Um, um, if they've been designated by their employers for that particular work, to conduct minimum basic operations of their business. I'll get back to that in a second. That's in Section 4B of this executive order. Uh, to perform necessary government activities. Um, went through that a second ago. That's in Section 6. Um, to perform tasks that are necessary to their health and safety. So if you need, uh, and it's written here, uh, um, necessary for the health uh, and safety or to the health or for the health and safety of their family or household members, including pets. So individuals may, for example, leave their home or place of residence to secure medication or to seek medical or dental care that is necessary to address a medical emergency or to preserve the health and safety of a household or family member. Um, the next item is uh, ne you're permitted to depart, leave your home to obtain necessary services or supplies for yourself. Uh, there's a, uh, the, the executive order has in it 
um, uh, in, per, in, in italics to emphasize this, that individuals must secure such services or supplies via delivery to the maximum extent possible, but the type of things that are explicitly listed in the executive order include groceries, takeout food, gasoline, needed medical supply. Um, you can also leave your home to care for a family member or a family member's pet in another household. You can leave to take care of minors, dependents, the elderly, persons with disability or other vulnerable persons. Um, also people who are in a healthcare facility, a residential care facility, um, to attend legal proceedings or hearings for essential or emergency purposes. Um, and also to volunteer for businesses or operations that are affecting economically disadvantaged or otherwise needy individuals are, are, are considered to be an exclusion here. You can also travel to return to a home or a place of residence, to leave the state for a home or residence elsewhere, to travel between two residences in the state, or travel as required by law enforcement. Uh, there are a, uh, there's a long list of, of the type of activity that is considered critical infrastructure. Um, and for, uh, and for, in, for workers in these areas of work, you are permitted to go to your work. Um, if you are in the healthcare and public health uh, 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 fields, law enforcement, public safety and first responders, food and agriculture, energy, water and wastewater, transportation and logistics, public works, communications and information technology, including news media, other community-based government operations and essential functions, critical manufacturing, hazardous materials, financial services, chemical supply chains and safety, and defense industrial base related activities. One very important uh, exclusion um, uh, or one very important category that includes critical workers, critical infrastructure workers, include child care workers, uh, especially, uh, but these are only uh, individuals who are taking care of children uh, or dependents of critical infrastructure workers. That's the list that I just went over a second ago. The last piece of this to be, um, uh, to, 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 um, to go through are workers who are uh, in, uh, working in, in designated suppliers and distribution centers. Obviously we wanna keep um, goods and goods flowing to people who are at home. So people who are involved in the distribution of these goods are permitted to leave their home for work. Uh, workers in the insurance industry, workers and volunteers for uh, businesses or operations that provide food, shelter, and other necessities of life for economically disadvantaged or otherwise needy individuals. And then finally, workers who perform critical labor union functions, uh, especially including those who administer health and welfare fund, uh, funds in labor unions. The last piece that's critically important in this is section 4B, and that is for uh, individuals um, who uh, uh, are, that are necessary to conduct, and I'm reading the minimum basic operations of, uh, of, of, of businesses that may not be defined as critical infrastructure activities. But if you are involved in uh, ensuring uh, the maintenance uh, or business operation of the value of inventory and equipment, care for animals, ensuring safety, process transactions, or facilitate the ability of other workers to re work remotely, you are considered uh, 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 permitted to go to your place of work um, under this executive order. Obviously, it's essential that people restrict their activities as much as possible during this period of time. The executive order is uh, wide ranging. It is intended to be uh, read broadly. Um, and uh, we think that it's going to save lives. So I hope this information has been helpful um, to you in better understanding what this executive order says and how it will affect your life.